What's up, fellow journeyers? And so we closed out our last video, which is a remodel video with us on this couch. This is like a kid couch. So what do we pay for there this? There we go. What is this couch fiasco? I mean. Talking about, we weren't sure where we're going next with it. Well, it's back in the box. All right, so the, the couch is going back. Still deciding what to do with this couch. We're moving forward. <laughs> we're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. We sold our house in 2015 and moved into an RV full time to live a life of less junk, more journey. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. Oh, so after um, much thought and debate, I think we've decided to do something that we really did not want to do, but we are at a crossroad. Well, we're gonna be taking one of these giant dual pane windows out to put a couch in. Yeah, and I know that sounds, when I say it out loud, that sounds terrible. It sounds like a terrible idea. But backstory, a little history here. We can no longer store this in Marissa's sister's house. We have to either do something with it or sell it. It's taking up our whole porch. It's probably gonna get damaged if we leave it out here. We have nowhere to put it, pretty much. This is the other couch that we've already boxed back up that's going back to Wayfair. So we're just collecting couches on our porch. It's, it, so it's in the way, first of all. Second of all, we love this couch. We love it, we want this couch. We tried everything in the world for it to fit into the RV. <laughs> Probably less than that, actually. It saws all that wall right there a little. Pivot! 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 We tried taking it apart. Hey, Look at hey, all hey. the ways it's cross braced. No, this thing is really well. No, it is. <laughs> it's, uh... And then we looked at, well, we could sell this one and get another one. It just seems silly because we're going to lose money on this one. We love this couch. We have him hawed around about this for a week because we do not want to put the couch in through the window. I've been the one that's been hesitant the whole time. I'm like, let's get a different couch. But couches are really hard to find right now. And we would need one that would specifically break apart to be put into this RV. And there's a certain style and you want to love your space. And so we wanted this very specific couch that was wide and comfortable for our family and could sleep guests. And so we put a lot of research into the couch, except we missed the research part of will it fit in the door. I just don't want to be those people. We're forever going to be those people on YouTube. You're going to be like, wow, you're the family that put the couch through the window. We're going to be those people. So we've called Grand Design. They said they take out windows all the time. We should be good. So we made the decision to go for it. We have a certified RV tech here with us. And so we thought, when in Rome, when you have a certified RV tech and a couch that won't fit. So we researched and could not find anyone that had done this, probably for good reason, right? No, I couldn't find anybody with this window for a couch. Size. We oh, call this goodness. couch our third child because it has felt that way. It's gonna cost as much a third child <laughs> to drop this window, so. We can still drive to Ikea. Nope. Eight nope. hours away. No, nope, we're not doing that. Dude, that's pro grade right there. <laughs> pro grade. <laughs> So we're cleaning these off because we've got suction cups. One guy on the outside holding two suction cups, one guy on the inside holding two suction cups, and another guy hoping and praying and holding underneath here that it doesn't just drop and then it's over. So that's not gonna happen, hopefully. Are you ready to take a window out? This thing is not gonna get smashed today. <laughs> I want to put this on record that this was Nathan's idea in case anything goes wrong and Corey's. This was their idea. <laughs> put that on record. We know the couch is going to fit through this window. Right? It's 50-50 well, no shot. That. Oh my no, God. No, it's got a 100% 100% that it fits. There's all kinds of other stuff that could go wrong, but the couch will fit through this window spot. What else could go wrong? Uh, well, it just the strengths won't be with us. Stuff. <laughs> One of these gives out and the other guy slips and it just... You feel good about this? Just trying to not think about it. <laughs> is that a good tactic? Oh my, what are we doing? Uh, six and a half years of RV life. This is definitely a first. And I don't know if I have yet felt this sick at my stomach since we've started RVing. <laughs> I feel so sick right now. Uh, I'm so nervous. I feel so nauseous. <laughs> it's not too late. We can just buy a couch. Uh, We're all in. It's right on the edge of the paint, so I just kind of want to make sure it doesn't 
grab and peel the paint. A lot of the framed windows have sometimes some screws going down. But those screws there. we took out were going through this frame and that frame both, I'm assuming. Yeah. How they did it. Yeah, I feel it coming. You feel good about it not ripping the paint? Well, I'm going to work just to hold both edge just so we're dealing with the top because I don't want the paint to flex. Look, downside to frameless windows. You flex them too much, they blow up in your face. Yeah, I, I purposely waited to tell you that after the fact. <laughs> we'll probably try to peel the bottom out. Just super, super slow because this top is still stuck. Okay, we're good. It's all loose. Ready? Yep. Right, let's come down. Grip. I have a good grip on it, so you let's guys just. got it? Yep. Just because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy is it? Actually, not, not bad. It's, it's actually, lighter than I was this 50 or less? Oh, actually, the more I look at this, I don't think that fits through here. Corey! <laughs> Humor is not appreciated. Not right now. At not this right now. Time. Anything else large you want to fit into there? Now is the time, Marissa. Well, yeah, it would have been nice if we had our second oh couch. God. Your face sums it up. <laughs> well, I was watching from inside, <laughs> and I was trying to edit this clip, and I was like, I have to stop and just like. Woo. It's actually uh, foam, single-sided, like sticky foam. Okay. I cannot believe we just did that. You guys look like farmers. Guys. I don't know why I'm farmers. I don't know. You're in an RV. <laughs> That's in a farmer. I'm just, I I, farmer I'm just waiting for the less junk, more dirty food truck. Hey. All right, I'm gonna have it to better you, fit. And I'm gonna come in and... It's gonna fit. Oh, I smell the leather. <laughs> Where's so you gonna come through? Come on right there. Don't It'll be the only the time you'll ever. The only time. Well, never changing yes. couches ever again. I swear, if this does not fit lengthwise. <laughs> you said 100%. I said 100% on the window. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's, uh, let's just make sure this thing fits. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks no. pretty. It's going to be tight. No, it's tight, but it's good. No, you're going to fit. Go. I'm, I'm on the fire. It's kind of hot on my booty. Providing side tables. Wow. <laughs> what? So. Yeah, that fits. Like a glove! It's way <laughs> <laughs> Leave it like we that. We can have a slide. Put us, have some have stairs a slide. going up. Yeah, some stairs coming down, a slide going out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, a garage door, kind of. Ooh, a garage door. <laughs> and then during the day, just leave it up. Yeah. And then you could start selling stuff. A little storefront in here. You're all about the they don't want my, They don't want my <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Welcome looks, to the show! It looks so good. It was worth taking the window out, right Nathan? Yes, and we don't even have, this is like, this is really good fitness it's space. It's a lot. <laughs> we measured this and luckily we measured right. Uh, but it is, it, it'll, go, it'll, go, it'll go, it'll go, it'll go. <laughs> yeah, you have like a half of yeah. It's staying in this RV and never leaving. No, it's never leaving. <laughs> this couch is dying in this rig. <laughs> People are paying us for the couch and then the solitude comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. So. Uh. How does that feel compared to the other one we summed up? I uh, know, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we did miss this couch. We did. So we thought it'd be what the butyl tape, but it's actually foam tape, right? Yeah, which yeah, makes more sense. Yeah. I have 15 feet, so we got more than enough to do that. So what Stuart's using is just one side sticky foam tape. Is that the right word? Window foam? Yeah, which is what was originally on there. So you can just go, he just went to an Ace Hardware down the road. You just have to make sure it's closed cell foam. Closed cell? All right. So water doesn't actually leak through it. Ah, okay. The other thing is you don't, what you don't want to do is have your gap. This is the top of the window down here. We don't want it to split anywhere. We want that to be smooth. And because it's only a 10 foot roll, we're having the gaps. Not really gap. We're going to overlap here, overlap on the other side. Stuff sticks really well. I'm gonna swap the suction. Just hold my window. <laughs> Do my thing. Try not to think about how much it costs this window bus. <laughs> Probably more than that couch, honestly. Yeah. We're gonna have to go this way a little bit with it. 
So right now they're trying to make sure that everything's lined up so that it gets a good tight seal on that tape. Everybody's double checking. We don't want to tighten it down and then it'd be out of position and then a chance for water to leak through the window. Should I tell them my hand's grabbing? <laughs> you can probably let go now. Probably or like like, like, like actually like, I like an actually uh, of all please. things that he trusted he trusted Corey saying you could probably <laughs> let go now you can let go we're in <laughs> you'll love it even more in this space than you did in that knowing time. what we went through together <laughs> that's hilarious bonding We've been through a lot <laughs> late night work we'll get some stuff done with the rig don't judge us we needed <laughs> we needed the kids out of the room. So, uh, problem solved. You got painting going on in the bathroom with Lindsay. Marissa's already installed. How many of these have you installed? Like three, four, you're nailing yeah, it. Yeah, and I'm working on my last one here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supervisor. <Don't> I? <laughs> Great at it. Yeah, you're looking good. Looking good, Stuart. So when we decided to take that big surround out and just add a simple light, I went with different fixtures to pull them all together. I think that's what's important is when you're making a space your own is making it feel like yours and not maybe something that is like every rig you walk into it's weird if you've ever walked into a rig that is just like yours and you're like i feel like i'm at home but i'm not at home and so think about if our houses were that way would you want to walk into a house and feel like oh well, my house looks just like this as far as changing these out these are just regular residential fixtures right that's not the trick mm -hmm. the yeah. trick is the bulbs yeah so as long as you order a 12 volt bulb any residential fixture works. Well, and you save a little bit of money maybe, or at least you have more choices with the residential stuff, but then you lose all that money right back because you have to buy, when you buy the 12 volt bulbs, these were like uh, $12 a piece, something like that after tax is what we paid for these things. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's very expensive. Oh, there's so many things to touch. <laughs> I love saying? it. I love it so much. That looks good, doesn't it? It does look so awesome. good. It's just something like simple, but just the pattern in the wood just yeah, that looks so great. So as far as construction, so one by fours, it's all white oak. It's all pocket screwed together and glued and it's super sturdy. It is not coming apart. Now, as far as the weight police, now there is such a thing as called weight police if you get on the forums. Uh, this weighs, I think 10 pounds more than what we had before, but we definitely lost weight on this top piece and we definitely lost some weight on both of these as well. So we are underweight on everything and the couches, I'm gonna guess they're about flush as far as like the other stuff we had in here before. So we're not gaining any weight. If anything, by the time we get it's all said and done with everything, we're gonna be losing weight with all the upgrades we're doing. So you guys might have seen us in and around the RV wearing some LJMJ merch. Uh, Christmas is coming up. This is newly released for this year. I'm got so excited. Sleeve. I was like, Nathan, I need a long sleeve t-shirt. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, so multiple colors on the long sleeve and the short sleeve. This fabric is super soft. It's mm -hmm. like a blend. This shirt, Marissa <laughs> almost wouldn't let me wear this for this. She's like, Nathan, it's faded. I'm like, no, I love it because it's faded. I've had this for three years. I've probably worn this 150 times. You guys have seen me. I don't, well, my yeah. section in the closet is tiny. We also have have stickers, hoodies, all kinds of stuff on there. And we are doing a 15% discount for Team Journey. So if you're a part of teamjourney.com, our community there, we want to give them the perk of that discount. Is Pico taking a nap over there? What's he doing? Pico taking a nap. <laughs> Term. I know it has an official term. You call it slide trim, slide fascia. I actually don't like the word fascia because that's like a medical term. So. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm gonna go with slide trim. <laughs> go with slide trim.
I know I've always seen this changed out and I thought it was very intimidating, but I've heard that it's a simple process. Super simple with this slide. It's just hydraulics, everything's down below. So there's no cables or anything. So all they are is Brad nailed up on the face. There's OSB, you know, boards behind it to nail into. So overall, super, super easy to do. So you can paint the existing ones or we decided just to change these out. And I actually like the look of it being that natural look. So we're not gonna paint it right away. I like the warmth and the texture and the different kinds of woods, especially since we got this going here kind of ties it all together. Okay, so anytime you're changing things and moving things around, I mean, almost everything, like we, we Stuart already figured this out with the electrical, having to move this over. And we're having to figure out the side tables over here. We're gonna have to redo those because it's a different width than what it was before. And then we're still figuring out, we've got to do a new piece right here to recover that and make it flow because before it didn't need it because this was a giant piece that was just basically on top of that. So tons and tons of figuring out. So we're custom building a table, but we want to reuse the free floating table with the brackets. Really love that free floating table. It's so much easier to get in and out of. Because where the table was is not going to be centered for what we need for where we're going to sit before. So this entire thing needs to come over three to five inches. But the problem is the studs are here and this is free floating. So How's this go like this? <laughs> exactly. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> You can bring it around like Whatever. that. Whatever. Nathan plays dumb just so that he gets, <laughs> he gets out of stuff. Your wife wants you to do dishes, you break a couple of dishes and you'll never get asked again. Uh -huh. What's happening with the table is because we went with something larger here in this space, that's forcing us to move the table over a little bit to balance it out um, because we can't use the existing holes that are on the studs. <laughs> and then the other side of that is, obviously we were changing out the chairs anyways, but we were gonna put chairs here, but we don't have room for chairs anymore. The advantage, I love these over chairs. Benches, well these are the bench tops. Actually, this is the old table top. Cut in half, refinished, and these are gonna be the tops of the two benches that are gonna go around this table. You know, mounted to here, which is gonna overlap enough to give us to where we can get these braces moved over just enough. So it's still technically into the stud. I'm calling this version one. I wanted to do a floor mount. <laughs> <laughs> so Stuart also finished out these end tables. These are awesome. One over there, one over there. Just somewhere to set our drinks or a speaker or anything we might need at some point. Like we're still debating on a lot of stuff. Like, do we want this flat? Do we want this to be finished to match this? Do we want these exposed wood strips or not? I'm liking the strips. That was kind of like an accident. Like we had to replace that one and I was like, I really like the look of having the raw wood beams. But Stuart made this. Would you say out of lattice? That's yeah, actually a lattice board, which I just, you know, routed the edges and then did the center. So, I mean, it would be pretty inexpensive just to replace the ones here in the living room and a super simple fix for him, I guess. <laughs> but I think it gives it a really cool depth in here. So not only did we replace the slide trim in the living room and kitchen, we replaced the slide trim in the mid bunk, and then also the slide trim in the master bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom's gonna be phase two renovation. Phase two renovation would be the bedrooms and the bathroom, so excited. Hey, brother. <laughs> So phase one of the remodel, we don't know how many phases we have. I have no clue. Maybe it's all new to me. <laughs> it's a surprise to everyone. It's a surprise. <laughs> um, it's done. Thank you, Living Small, Dreaming Big. Uh, Stuart and Lindsay did the majority of the work. They did an awesome job. Marissa's gonna show you guys around. Some of this you guys have seen, some of this you have not. So if you remember the fireplace before, it had some chunky ornate pieces and just popped off and then it made a flat surface. We just bought some of these sticky tiles off Amazon. It's really modern. I like it a lot. So this couch is bigger than the previous couch and so we needed to build end tables for the couch. Oh, we love this couch. I'm so glad we went through the window. It's just a super deep couch, which is what we loved. Yeah. So Stuart built these just minimal side tables. We just wanted a place to lay our coffee in the morning. Let me show you guys my favorite seat in the whole place. It's this little corner right here. Um, I'm next to the fireplace. It's where I feel a little bit of heat in the mornings. And then like, as you're sitting here, you can look outside and see the view of like, wherever you're at. <laughs> you know you just gave away your secret spot and now I'm gonna be stealing that <laughs> spot. You should have no, told me. No, now I'm, I'm like, you're right. 
spot. That is a good spot. We're going to be fighting over that spot now. Oh. <laughs> it's like a super comfortable. I actually yeah. love this spot. So, of course, the trim continues up and around the slides. It just makes the space feel so much bigger because you don't have the chunky pieces like I was talking about on the fireplace. And it's just a, a really light, airy feel in here now with that. And now we took out the recliners that came with the RV. Uh, <laughs> this is to be continued. It just takes forever to get anything now. So <laughs> we're waiting for that to come in. We can't wait to show you guys what's going there. But what we did get done. <laughs> this is actually our old tabletop that was here. They sanded it down. We bought these legs off Amazon and they're really light. Can move it over here. A coffee table, footrest here. They're pretty versatile. And it took some tweaking, but we did manage to keep this floating, which I love because you don't have to worry about banging into something as you slide in. It's <laughs> awesome. I think this is probably my favorite thing we've done. When you walk in, this is the first thing you see. So to me, it's kind of just like this art kind of focal piece. This changes the whole feel of the RV. So we put in one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, or you could say eight lights. I don't know how you want to look at it. I am really big on lighting. You hear us talk about that a lot when we pick an RV, how much windows, the light, and I'm the same way with just our light features. Light just sets, sets the mood, right? To stay with the wood trim concept, we took this padded area off around the door and we replaced the, the frame around the door with the cedar as well. So we're super excited how phase one turned out. It's looking awesome in here. Phase two is gonna take place in a couple months. Probably gonna paint these cabinets. So stick around cause that could get interesting. <laughs> So big thank you to Stuart and Lindsay from Living Small, Dreaming Big. I don't think we ever would have the confidence to do some of these things on our own. Once you have um, someone that is handy and he's an RV tech and Lindsay's great with design, it just gave us the confidence to like move forward with some of these ideas that we got to put into motion. If you're living small and you're dreaming big about <laughs> doing some sort of remodel on your RV, uh, hopefully we've given you guys some great tips. Or if you wanna do the a little bit more hands-off route with somebody like Stuart and Lindsay. They are in Florida in the winter as of the time of this video. So, and possibly every winter, who knows? <laughs> They're saying they're from Ohio. They're like, we want to stay warm. I'll put their contact information below. Get a hold of them. Talk to them. Fantastic people. Go check them out on check Instagram. Out. Yes. Well, hopefully our couch fiascos are done for a while. Um, <laughs> we got one more couch to go. So hopefully, I mean. I measure. We're good. <laughs> Probably not. We're good. We're good. That is our journey for today. Um, until next time, we'll catch you guys later.